Ah, the legacy lives on. New villagers and new hope and peace inside of the village. Oh, this is just amazing. Oh, wow. But anyway, you guys, hello, everybody, and welcome to Zoo Crafting. As you can see, the village is doing super well. Look at this. We've been doing some little breeding programs and, you know, trying to get the numbers up um, for the village, you know, to give new generations new hope and new new curiosity. Um, we'll be doing, like, a little side quest, you know, doing a little, you know, fertility love festival kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, look at all the new children. Look at that. They're playing tag. They're having fun. Oh, growing village. It's just, it's just amazing to see a village completely transformed by one person. That person being me. Oh man, but this is exciting, you guys. Um, but anyway, today we are working on the inn. Um, this is the little inn shop we're going to be doing. Um, it's going to have like all the things you're going to need. Instead of just like barging into somebody's random house, which we've been doing, we're going to be building a random inn. Um, it's not going to be just a random inn. No, 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 no. It's going to be an awesome um, little inn where we can go ahead and There'll be, like, food, shops, you know, kind of like a little hotel. Um, you can walk in for free. There'll be bedrooms you can stay in, um, food to get. There'll be, like, a little reading nook. It's going to be awesome. And I already have, like, a little design planned out for this. Um, I do have some of the materials, which I got at the blacksmith, which is super nice. We built the little blacksmith shop in the last episode, which, as you can see, this is how it's doing. It's doing so well. I love it, you guys. Um, but, all right, welcome to ZooCrafting, zoo crafting, you guys. I'm so Glad you decided to join me in today's episode, where we work on the inn. I'm super excited about it. And, you know, maybe, maybe I'll share some, like, little animal facts. Just, like, random animal facts um, along the way. Because, you know, why not? This is still zoo crafting, you know. We have side quests for a reason. Um, but, yeah, it's just amazing. Look at all the people. There's people, you guys. Like, that's just what I love. There's actual people walking around the village. It's just amazing, you guys. It's like a growing village, a growing hope. You know, I think we should give out some names for the for the villagers. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. So we have a ton of names I've kind of randomly generated here. Um, let me see. We got the first name is Dandy. Um, if you have any name suggestions, I should give to the villagers because we have plenty of spots for the villagers. Um, let me know any name suggestions. All right, so we've got Dandy. All right, who wants to be Dandy? You're, are you Dandy? Hmm... See. Who is Dandy? Are you Dandy? Ham, ham. Um, you know, the villagers have taught me the native language of villages. And oh, all right, you want to be Dandy? All right, you're Dandy. All right, next name is Plum. Next on the list, who wants to be Plum? Anybody? Are you Plum? No, you're Holly. Um, let's see. Let's go and check inside of this little house. Anybody want to be Plum? Any any volunteers to be plum? Um, you actually look like a plum, so I'm gonna name you Plum. Here we go. Oh wait, I didn't mean to give that name to you. Ah, you stole the name. That was for her. Rude. I wish like you could remove a name tag. Well, I guess you're Plum. Oh well, maybe you can be like Plum Two or something. <laughs> plum Two. Um, oh, actually, you can be April. There we go, April. You're Plum and you're April. All right. And see, we got Jenna. Who wants to be Jenna? Let's see. You look like Jenna. Alright. Let's see. Let's go and give some names to babies. Some little baby kid villagers. Alright. Let's see. Hello, Katie. Um, I heard she's going to be selling hydrangea soon. It's going to be very nice. I noticed that zombie there. I don't have any clue how the zombies are still getting in. Um, hey. Zombies. There should not be any zombies. There's no reason for zombies to be here. No. Get out. A security guard could not give a bleep about the zombies. Eh. No. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Somehow the vil they're still getting in. Hmm. It might be because of this little hole right here. I'm thinking, anyway. Other than that, I have no clue how they're somehow getting in. Yeah, like, there's no reason for them to be here. Hey, get out. This is the Village of Light. Get out. Hmm. Yeah, they probably could be coming in from, like, caves and stuff. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit of an issue. Um, but like I said, the, like I said, the security for the Village of Light is getting a little bit better day by day. Um, you know, like over here is super dark. Let's go and clear out this poison ivy. You know, we definitely don't want all this poisoning the villagers. Um, here we go. The security guards, though, aren't even doing their job. The Iron Golem security guards we hired a few episodes back, or like about 20 episodes back, we, you know, hired some 
little iron golem security guards and apparently they're not doing their job so yeah <laughs> all right but anyway so yeah we're gonna definitely have to make some adjustments to that um like i said we just have a lot to do um, you know, while we're on a little vacation. Um, and hopefully as soon as we get this little end done, we can get, like, a little, um, a little person to sell some crocodile eggs for us. Oh, another baby! Here we go, let's see. Next is on Jul is Julian. Do you want to be Julian? There we go. Oh! Oh, I gave the name to you on accident! Dang it, you're the name stealer! Plum! Ugh! Unless this was a, unless you were Plum. Okay, you're Plum. You stole the name! That was for him, not you! Rude. Alright, let's see. You can be, hmm, maybe you can be Hope. Does that sound like a name? Hope. Yeah? You're gonna carry on the legacy for the village? Hmm, I guess these are your the your parents, you know. Teaching you the legacy. Yes. Teaching you the ways of the village of light and the culture. I heard a zombie. I heard a zombie. Hmm. We might need more than one security guard around here. Um, I would like to mill make some like real iron golem instead of it. Oh, 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 I heard a zombie get hurt! Where'd he go? I keep thinking that flower's a, 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 a zombie. I hear a zombie. Yep, yep, nope, 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 nope. I don't understand how they're still getting in. Like, this is literally the most secure wall. Like, we have an entire wall going around the village. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Huh. That's weird. Like I said, we're still making this, like, literally as better as it can get. But they still seem to be spawning. No matter how many torches I put around the village. Get out! Ugh! It's like, I don't even know what to do anymore. We need more than one security guard around here, I think. What do you guys think? Hmm. They're clearly coming in from over here. Hmm. Not sure. Put that right there. Uh, there seems to be no other mobs spawning, like there's no creepers, no skeletons, just the zombies for some reason. So I have no clue what's going on with that. Um, at least everyone's safe in the house though, that's the that's the most important part. I hear a zombie again, let's just make it day so that they'll burn and we'll go ahead and make some iron golem security guards. And Oh, I heard a villager! A villager's in trouble! I heard them get hurt. Hmm. Not good. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, let's see, we got Chapman. You wanna be Chapman? Chapman! Here we go. You can be Chapman. There we go. And then next is Maya. Maya. Let's see, are you Maya? No, you're Holly. And then, let's see. That's Hope. Um, Donna. Um, you're Plum. Um, yeah, and that name was not for you. It was for a different villager, but you stole it. Um, see anybody in this house? Let's see, we got... You're unnamed. Okay, you're gonna be Maya. Here we go. And next is Callie. Are you Callie? No. You're a different name. Here we go. And then... Let's see, for some reason my FPS is a little bit low. Hmm. Um, let's see. Stop running. Alright, you can be... Kali, and then one more name. We got Samuel. You're Samuel. There we go. You literally asked for the name, okay? Anyway, so yeah, look at this. We, know, we got trouble. Yes, up to trouble. Trouble. I smell trouble. Anyway, um, we got some unnamed baby villagers we're going to name soon. Um, we still have a lot more um, name tags we're going to be doing soon as well. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to be kind of working on the inn. Um, we're gonna be also splitting out random animal facts so that this is still kind of, like, educational, I guess. Um, you know, not educational, but, like, still, like, zoo crafting. Um, because I know it kind of feels like a side quest right now, but I promise you it's not. Um, but I have a design I want to do for the end, which I think you guys are gonna really like. Alright, so, what we'll do is we'll make, like, this layer right here kind of just, like, stone. So let's go ahead and get out our chisel. Some spruce wood planks. Let's just make a crafting table right here. Alright. Crafting bench. And then let's go ahead and chisel this cobblestone. Right here. Um, let's see. Oh, that's right. I forgot this had to be stone. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's see. I actually have some stone smelting at the blacksmith. Um, 
We'll see how long that's going to last, though. Um, because I didn't feel it, feel it, feel it with much coal. Yeah, I didn't do much because we don't have enough coal. Let's see, we can always buy some coal, though, from this guy right here. Here we go. Lots of goods from the quarry. I can sell them to you if you'd like. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go and just buy a little bit of, um, some dollops of coal. Um, here we go. I was going to give you this, and then this. And um, this one ran out, so let's go ahead and restock that. And then if we chill the stone, um, we'll go ahead and get these wide stone bricks. Um, so I'm just kind of getting, like, the little base design for this time. I think you guys are going to really like it. Um, and so basically, it'll kind of go like this. And then, uh, we'll do, how about these little fancy looking ones? Like, great. Yeah, these ones. Fancy spruce crates is what they're called, but I really like how they look anyway. So, let's see. I can't sprint. Alright, there we go. And then, let's go ahead and get some of this put up. Let's do, like, one, two, three. And then we'll kind of do, like, a little line. Just right along right here. Uh-huh. And then we'll do the same on this side. Uh-huh. And so we'll have, like, one part of it just, like, stone. Like, kind of like this. There we go. Let's go do this. And then let's even have some windows on the side. There we go, to make it look a little bit cool. Alright, there we go. And then we need some spruce slabs as well. Uh-huh. Alright. And so let's kind of like put some not right there. But uh right there. Here. There we go. I like that. That's looking nice. Alright. I think you guys are gonna love this. This is gonna look fantastic. And so, like, the, fir the first part of it will be kind of like a little inn. And it'll be like a nice little area where there'll be food and there'll be places to hang out, sit down, and, you know, be places like to chat. And I think that'll be really nice. We need some glass. Um, where's the glass? Okay, right here. I have a little bit. Not much. Um, let's see. I'll just use normal glass, I guess. All right. Just gonna put this glass down right here. And then, I think where it'll look really fancy is the top part, which will require some wool. I don't have much left over, um, but we'll go ahead and use some wool um, for this as well. And so, let's um, kind of like pillar up using this right here. And then... Let's maybe, like, add, like, a little layer of wood right here. And then... Let's go and do these. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I think you think you guys are going to love this. It's going to look fantastic. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. And then... Let's fill the rest with wool. So, like, right here. Just trust the process. I know it might be a little bit um, funky at first. And then let's add in a window right here. So, let's do it right here. There, we should probably use shears next time. Let me shears go. All right, there. Um, all right. Let's go and do this in here. Um, so, you know, let me know if you, like, are kind of enjoying this series. Like, let me know. Like, I want to know what y'all think. Do you think there should be less zoo crafting episodes? Do you think there should be a lot more? You know, I'm going as fast as I can to produce episodes. I also want to make sure quality and, you know, entertainment is important as well. You know, I don't want to just make an episode randomly and just call that. You know, I don't want to just, like, you know, make episodes randomly and then call those, you know, productive zoo crafting episodes. You know, I, I want to know what y'all think. I want to know if you think, like, this is, like, a, 
a good sufficient series to be, you know, keep on doing it. I know some of you guys love it and, you know, I want I want to continue to do this. I really I really love um doing zoo crafting. Oops, ouch, I fell. No. Okay. Here we go. Let's get this it's right there. And then um yeah, so let's add on to this. Let's make like a little we'll make like a little um roof. Right here. Oh, I'm out. Here we go. So let's go and chisel more. I'm afraid we're going to run out of spruce. Um, we're going to have to go to that meadow to get some of the spruce woods again. Which, the meadow is actually right over there. And that's where I got the, the spruce trees. You know, over there. Um, and then, let's go ahead and... Um, let's just do this. There we go. And so, oh, ouch, didn't mean to fall that far. Ouch, broke a toe or two. We'll be, we'll be okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and add in, like, hmm, let's do that. And then add in, like, a little window. Um, but, you know, I love, I love doing zoo crafting. It's being, it's a lot of fun. I have been, you know, like I said, I've been running zoo crafting, this zoo crafting series since December. Um, December 24th exact, so like right before Christmas. That's what I love about zoo crafting is like we literally started it like di the day before Christmas. And I, ever since that time, I've just been enjoying it. Like I have been thoroughly enjoying it. So yeah, I know this doesn't look exactly the best, but just trust the process, you guys. It'll, it'll come together. Trust me. Um, and so yeah, like I said, I really love doing this series. And it's a lot of fun, you know, I do, uh, like I said, I log on almost every day. If I ever miss a day, I, I you know, I give out bonus episodes to, to make up for those days, and, you know, and, you know, I try to really, like, make the episodes a little bit of a better, you know, quality for you guys. I really like, you know, doing these episodes, I like the story, I like, I love telling stories, you know, it's just my, one of my favorite things to do. I think this could maybe lose a window. Yeah, I think we should lose the window. And add in like wool here instead. Here we go. And then we'll just go ahead and add in like some stairs as well. I'm going to take down our little pillar. So right here. Alright. Oh wow. Beautiful. I love this. Oh, this looks fantastic. We just need to add on the roof and it'll like totally come together. And and so yeah, like I said, I log on every day. I try not to miss uh, too many days. Sometimes I get a little bit busy, and sometimes I'm, like, really not able to do this series um, on the days I want to. But, you know, I really do it. Even though, even if I've had, like, a, a bad day, if, even if I'm, like, unmotivated, I still want to log on and give out a zoo crafting episode for you guys. Because I care, and I want to make sure that we have, you know, daily zoo, zoo, do, daily zoo crafting episodes, daily zoo tycoon videos, just daily um, videos in general. And... Yeah, so, that's that. Alright. Actually, we should probably add in the stairs right here. Yeah. So, then, the stairs right here. And kind of work on this little roof. I'm kind of just going for, like, the little medieval style. It's a little bit hard to explain, but I think, I think it will probably makes sense when it kind of, um, if I just get, like, the front piece of it together, then, yeah, we'll probably, like, do, like, a little side quest where we'll, like, decorate the inside and, you know, and we'll, in the next episode, I'll, I want to get, like, the little crocodile eggs sold and everything. I think that'll be really nice. Let's see if we can make this, let's do, like, an, a roof overhang for it, like, yeah, like that. There we go. This is the time where being magnetic is extremely useful. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. It's not looking too shabby, huh? I'm liking it. Oh wow. Here we go. Oh man, this is like a growing town, a growing village. I mean, this is just fantastic, you guys. I love it. Um, and so yeah, this is this is coming together really nicely. I absolutely love how this turned out. Um. And yeah, we're going to be adding in, like, little sides. I think we're going to add a little bit more detail, like, to the front, um, piece of it. Um, 
but yeah, other than that, this is looking awesome. And we're going to add in the doors, and I can't wait to decorate the inside. That's going to be really fun to do. Um, let's use the birch wood so we don't waste so much spruce. Um, because we got to spruce this up. <laughs> um, and then we'll add in a little door right here, door right there, and then some more torches like that. Oh, man, amazing. I love that. Oh, that looks awesome. Here we go. Alright, let's go and get this right here. Sorry, I'm just like really tired today. Um, you know, like I said though, I try to get I try to get as many videos as is done possible and you know, I make sure I because you know, I care. I really wanna have a lot of videos for you guys to watch and I I wanna have at least I think by the end of this year um, you know, 2024, we still have a lot of time left before 2024 ends, um, but I think by the end of this year, I want to have at least maybe 500 new videos out by the end of this year, I think, that would be very nice, so, I currently have about, um, like, 200 videos in my little library right now, so yeah, I have 200, um, videos in my library right now, and I want to have 500 um, videos done by the end of 2024, and you know we're getting there. Zoo crafting definitely helps. Zoo Tycoon 2 helps as well. Some of our like main series with like a lot of episodes, and oh my god, this just looks awesome! Oh wow, I love this. Fantastic. We gotta dig out the inside as well and kind of um make this look a little bit more efficient. Well, we're not gonna add as much detail to the sides, but mainly to the front and, well, the back, you won't really see the back because this is kind of going into like a little bit of a cliff. Um, um, but yeah, I guess we can kind of go t go ahead and talk about some of the endangered species of the, of the Amazon. And so yeah, basically there's this really pretty um, species of bird um, called the blue macaw, um, and it is, like, critically endangered. Um, the thing is, is that if a, if a species is, like, really, like, critically endangered, uh, it is really hard to, like, kind of, um, you know, save the species, because, like, if their numbers are already so, like, low, it can get very hard to, you know, make, make their numbers go back up because of their, you know, population getting so damaged, you know, and sometimes, like, a lot of species, um, are sometimes only available in zoos because of how badly their, um, their species are threatened, and it's sad. Like, the blue macaws, I think, are, uh, yeah, like, the blue macaws, there's only, like, 4,000 of them. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Like, they are, they are, um, endangered. So, yeah, like I said, the thing is, is, like, if, you know, if, um, if there isn't any males or females to, you know, reproduce, the species is gone. Like, like, it's gone. Like, they're, 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 it can't come back. Maybe in, like, like, 2,500, maybe there'll be a way to, like, clone different species or something. But, like, like I said, at this moment, you know, there is, you know, not any way to bring back the species if they're gone, you know? It's sad. So, like I said, a lot of people, there have been, like, programs to, oh, baby zombie! No! Baby zombie alert! Baby zombie alert! No! No, 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 no! Eh! Eh! Ugh, sneaky little guy. And, yeah, like I said, like, there have been, like, little programs to kind of go ahead and bring back the species as best as possible. My FPS is, like, suddenly increasing. Um, and, you know, I kind of like to save the species and, you know, bring them back because, you know, it's so, it's just so sad, though. Like, I hate, hate seeing a species getting, like, completely extinct from all that kind of stuff. It really is sad, isn't it? And... Yeah, so like the blue macaws, you know, from the Rio movie, um, are not doing too well. They're are they are recovering. Um, however, like I said, there's been a lot of damage. Um, like the the um, the northern white rhinos, um, I think are extinct. Like completely extinct. No, not completely extinct. I think there are two females for the white rhinos, um, the northern white rhinos. Um, and there is no males left. So like they are the only last two white rhinos are just kind of living, you know, it's sad, it's so sad, um, they were, a, there was an attempt to try to bring back the species by, um, extracting DNA from a normal rhino and putting it into the female to kind of try to, you know, just try to bring back the species, um, which, yeah, there have been kind of attempts like that, because, you know, their DNA is pretty, is pretty, um, similar and stuff like that, so, 
Um, yeah, there have been attempts like that, but sometimes it's just not, there's just sometimes nothing you can do to bring back the species. And like I said, maybe like by 2500 in, you know, something like that, we'll probably have like robots by then and, you know, um, technological, you know, um, holograms and stuff like that and, you know, extreme and, you know, artificial intelligence. By then, we'll probably be able to do something. Um, but like I said, my goal for zoo crafting and what I do is to, you know, teach people about the natural world before there isn't a world anymore. Like I said, by 2500, um, there is estimated to be a lot of species extinct, rainforest destroyed, and, you know, if we don't act fast, then that that's gone, you know? it's gone have you seen the lorax yeah it's gone and if you don't if you we don't do something like you know bring back the last tree and try to repopulate all the 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 chocula trees from the lorax then it, it it's gone you know it it's you know the animals have to find a new home and then you know that new home gets destroyed then they have to move to another home and it's it's awful, you guys. So, like I said, you know, always recycle, you know, try to be a little bit better about the environment. And, you know, there have been, um, I think last year there was a um, a wildfire in Canada. Um, and it spread into the United States a little bit. So, yeah, there was like a wildfire in Canada last year that like completely destroyed a lot of forests. And, you know, animals lost a lot of habitats. I mean, it was, it was awful. Um... So, yeah, like I said, we try to really, like, take care of our environment and make sure that it's, you know, all, all you know, taken care of and stuff because it's a zoo crafting. Um, and so, yeah, um, I think I'll probably get, like, this done a little bit off camera. Um, I think in the next episode we'll go ahead and set up the little crocodile NPC um, stuff like that. But other than that, I've had a lot of fun, you guys, talking to you guys and um, trying to get this done. Oh, man, look at our beautiful, look at this. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, man, I'm super happy and proud of that, about how it turned out. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, you guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little talk together. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next episode, you guys. Goodbye.